Today on 21st Century Television. Explore state-of-the-art technology, innovative business strategies, insights from cutting-edge corporations around the globe, a visionary look into the answers of tomorrow today. Business leaders, business solutions, 21st Century Television. Welcome to 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. One of the most sought after gems in the world is the diamond. Not only is it universally known for its beauty and use in jewelry, but the industrial uses for diamond are almost without limits. Unfortunately, natural made diamond is not without limit and the price to get it can be extremely high. Michael McMahon, CEO of Sio Diamond Technology Corporation, joins us to discuss the incredible possibilities that now come with the ability to mass produce a real diamond. Welcome, Michael. Thank you, Jackie, for having me. Michael, tell us a bit about the need for diamond in our world today, beyond, you know, popping the big question. Well, the popping is still the exciting and the sparkly part. <laughs> Definitely. But when you look at the, the aspect on the industrial side, we've all been used to seeing industrial diamond in the super abrasive world such as saw blades, drill bits, grinding wheels that we can get at the different hardware stores in our locale. What's exciting about it is into the semiconductor industry for speed of semiconductor, into the medical fields, into the water purification. That's where the future and we're just barely on the, the tip of the iceberg. Huh, so how is Sio Diamond positioned to make an impact on the world's need for this gem? I think what, what we offer the industry as far as the diamond mass production is that our technology can make up to 10 times more diamond than any of the rest of the competitors. 10 times yes. more, wow. The diamond industry is in the beginning of its history and this adds many unique challenges that you don't really come across in other fields. Each day we're traveling further down the road less traveled and as a result of this, we're coming across issues that were really never before faced. Our proprietary technology has the ability to spread throughout the world that, that we can control through joint ventures and partnerships. We've recently announced a joint venture with two partners in China that will help us significantly expand our production capacity. We are focused completely on mass production of diamond versus the trial and error approach in the past. This has allowed our reject rate to decrease from over 50% to less than 7%. As with anything, routine maintenance is the key to longevity. We clean the chambers and the optics of the systems daily and check the power of the laser beam. If the power of the beam is lower than usual, there's usually only a handful of things that can be wrong, which we can quickly troubleshoot and correct. Our laser operators do a great job of keeping our systems running 24-7. What has the reaction been to the lab-grown diamond in the consumer world so far? I think what you look at, if you were to go back about a year, uh, you were still in the kind of the unacceptable, is it, is it a real diamond? You were in the unacceptable mode. Over the last year, we've seen a dynamic and a demographic grow for those that believe in environmentally kind growing of the diamond uh, that's about 15% of the world's population. So there truly is a market for it. There's 15% of the people in the world that will never uh, accept anything other than an earth mine diamond. Mm -hmm. It's the other 70% in between that are growing. Michael, this has really been a fascinating and enlightening discussion. Thanks for telling us about the incredible possibilities that Sio Diamond is creating literally every few days. Thank you for having me. For 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. Thanks for watching.